Memories in video games go hand in hand. They're responsible for making and breaking our childhoods. They fueled our imaginations with wonder and kept us awake at night cowering in terror. It's the feeling of agency you get with games that you move the story on, which helps the events stick in our minds for as long as we can remember. So here and now, let's take a trip down memory lane and take a look at 10 video game moments that gave you memories for life. Number 10, Modern Warfare 2, No Russian. Sometimes it's not what you say, but what you do. And sometimes that do you did is choosing whether to gun down numerous unarmed civilians in an airport. To put this into context, in the opening hours of Modern Warfare 2, you're thrust into the highly shined boots of Joseph Allen, who has infiltrated the gang led by Vladimir Makarov and is feeding information back to the Americans. Makarov's plan is to cause nationwide panic and outrage by committing mass murder and then making it look like Americans caused this. As such, he reminds us that no Russian should be uttered so as to keep up this charade. What follows is a huge moral choice as to whether you commit to the role and slaughter a swathe of people to really sell that you're part of his group or fire around them. Whatever you choose though, things don't exactly end up peachy keen and you as a player are left shocked at how far this madman will go to achieve his end goal. Number 9. Batman Arkham Series – The Last Laugh Batman and the Joke have such an embroiled history that like Jack the Jobber and Hats, it almost becomes impossible to think of one without the other. They exist as paradigms of one another, one relentlessly focused on justice while the other having quite the funny bone for chaos. In Rocksteady's fantastic Arkham games, the big bad bat is constantly pitted against the clown prince of crime and his seemingly unending parade of goons, often resulting in the Dark Knight doling out concussions left, right and centre. However, at the end of Arkham City, after the Joker has pushed Batman to breaking point finding a cure for the poison that now flows through both of their veins, the Joker finally bites the dust in impressively dramatic fashion. But after the aforementioned dust settles, we're left with the image of Batman carrying the Joker out to a waiting crowd of police officers, seemingly in sorrow for the loss of his greatest enemy. Number 8. Final Fantasy VII – Honey Bee Inn Final Fantasy VII. For many, I could just say this name alone and it would conjure up a multitude of different memories. The burning of Nibelheim, the death of Aerith, the goddamn Chocobo races. But the memory that is stuck like metaphorical gum on my allegorical shoe is this, the Honey Bee Inn. On Cloud's quest to rescue Tifa early on in the game, he is given the option to cross-dress in order to infiltrate the private club and confront the lecherous Don who runs the place. Inside you can meet the girls who dress as bees, sexy, and have the Don try to have intercourse with you, sexy, and then throws you into a dungeon to fight this thing, not so sexy. Either way, this is one of the more humorous moments in the game, and it's one that stuck with me in my collection of dresses for ages. Number 7. Bioshock. Rapturous. The first Bioshock is one of my favourite games of all time. The mixture of horror elements, a fantastic art style and a deep, rewarding story really made the game stand out on its release. To pin down an iconic moment would be hard enough what with the introduction of the Big Daddy and the now legendary Would You Kindly twist, but the moment which really sent the chills through my memory memories is this precise moment where Rapture is revealed to the player. As you drag yourself half-frozen up to the steps of a mysterious lighthouse and enter the brass-encased bathosphere, then descend to the deep, you begin to understand the magnitude of Rapture. Hearing its ideals and its promise of a better life, it looks wondrous and almost like it could live up to everything you've heard thus far. But as the submersible docks and you meet the denizens of this sinking ship, it becomes all too apparent that life down here is far from rainbow rhythms. Number 6. Metal Gear Solid 2. Balls Up. Just seeing Raiden Cartwheel naked, I'll never unsee this, and I will never forget it. Number 5. Majora's Mask – This is the way the world ends Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, there is only so many people you can save. This is the hard lesson you learn through Majora's Mask, which gives you three days to try and stop this hunker chunker lunar doom from destroying the world. The pressure of time management and the constant threat of becoming stuck in the teeth of something with more bite than Adam Blompier creates an unnerving atmosphere. But the moment that surely stuck with many is what happens when Mr. Moon decides to bring that interstellar salt down on you. The scene of Link cowering before a wall of fire coupled with the taunting image of Majora's mask is haunting, sorrowful even, and made even worse when you reawaken to the world and realize that you're trapped in this cycle of gloom and inevitable death. Number 4. Amnesia. Water, water everywhere. To say that Amnesia is a scary game is like saying heck the band is a little loud, and to be fair there's a lot to be scared of. The eerie atmosphere, the inability to defend yourself and the sheer amount of naked men. But one thing above all which puts the willies in me was the introduction of the water monster. 
As you're casually strolling through the creepy depths, you suddenly experience a shift in reality, and now the floor is just covered in water. Ooh, spooky, you mockingly think. Oh, I hope my pantaloons don't get wet. <laughs> but as you begin to move forward, you realize you're not alone. The water ahead is being disturbed by something, something you can't see, and it's heading right for you. Jumping to a nearby box, you realize the creature can't get you, but as soon as you touch the ground again, this aquatic abomination is going to be on your ass like nobody's business. You're then left in a situation similar to the schoolyard game of the floor is lava, but in this case, it's less like playground hijinks and more like wet death, which is actually a great name for a dark metal band. Number three, Resident Evil, First Bite. Resident Evil is a seminal horror game. With its controlled camera angles, horrific monstrosities, and laughably bad voice acting, it really nailed the experience of a horror B-movie. I remember playing this game when I was far too young and impressionable and having nightmares for weeks, so, uh, good parenting there, Dad. But the moment that stuck with me forever in my darkest nightmares was the introduction of the first zombie. This tic-tac-headed, shabby, chic cheek-eater was the bane of my childhood. Upon first meeting him, I promptly filled trouser and got munched on like a tasty bowl of human frosties. The scene was built up so well, with you almost having to walk into it to trigger the cutscene. And then you see the destructive force of what it could do to you. And then there was that stare. Oh god, that goddamn stare! Number 2. Halo Combat Evolved Flood Halo Combat Evolved had a lot going for it upon its release. Beautiful graphics, tight shooting mechanics, and a rich, vibrant world which begged to be explored. Fighting against an impressively varied alien race on a huge superstructure was a perfect blend of sci-fi and balls-to-the-wall action. But a moment which still hangs in many gamers' minds is the introduction of the Flood. Up until this point in the game, we'd been subject to firefights and vehicle combats and were riding high on the adrenaline wave of being the all-powerful Master Chief. But upon entering a structure and coming across a video chip of a deceased soldier, we learned that the Covenant forces we'd been battling against thus far were a mere drop in the ocean compared to the Flood. A mass of tentacled squid monsters that would make even the most hardy hentai fan blush. The Flood were a welcome and horrific surprise to players, shifting the tone of the game drastically to that of a horror title, but pulling it off so well, all thanks to this scene. Number 1. Red Dead Redemption Okay. Red Dead Redemption spoilers incoming in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. John Marston's death. F*** me, that one hurt. After taking this lovable hat-haired rogue across the West in a tale of bloodshed, revolution and, well, redemption, it was devastating to walk out of that farmhouse only to be met by an entire army of US Marshals. I mean, you kind of know what's going to happen, but the game did such a good job of making you believe you could survive that it only hit that much harder when you finally fell. I, along with many others, was absolutely gutted when Marston hit the dirt. But upon reflection, how else could it have ended? And that's our list. I'm sure you all have moments in gaming which have stuck with you long past the credits, so let me know about them in the comments section below. If you want to chat about games with me personally, you can do so here or on my Twitter handle, RetroJ with a zero. If you enjoyed the video, then like, share, and subscribe for more. As always, I've been Jules from WhatCulture.com, and I'll see you soon.